The Burst Kids toothbrush cleans the teeth well and has lots of likeable features, but it lacks some of the charm and appeal of other kids brushes from other reputable brands. Is it worth the price premium? Continue watching to find out. Hey, it's John from Electric Teeth here. At the time of recording, I have a four-year-old son. As you would expect, I put a lot of effort into ensuring he understands the importance of good toothbrushing. But that doesn't make the challenge of getting my son to brush any easier. The Burst Kids Sonic toothbrush does a really good job of cleaning the teeth. I've been very pleased with the results, no complaints. The tapered bristles can potentially feel a little spiky on the gums, but they are soft and ultimately help ensure a deep and thorough clean. I do like on the back of the brush head is a tongue scraper. This is really valuable and tongue cleaning should be something you build into your kid's brushing routine if you can. Most bad breath originates from the tongue. The soft silicone of the head also makes it gentle on the teeth and cheeks. My one little gripe is the charcoal infused bristles. In theory at least, these can help with bacterial removal, but the concentration is very low and I feel the value of them is a little overrated. They are not abrasive like some of the charcoal products marketed to adults, which is great, so I guess only benefit is to be gained here. I'm just not convinced it's necessary for a child's brush. The brush has two cleaning modes, normal and sensitive. As the name implies, the latter is more gentle and less intense. This is really welcomed and is great for first time brushes as it eases them into the increased power of electric brushes. Once used to the power, they can switch to the more intense normal mode. It is nice to see icons on the handle to show which mode you have selected and the shape of the handle and the fact it's wrapped in soft touch silicone makes it very grippy in hand. It is too easy to wipe clean. A two minute timer and pacer is built into the brush. This helps encourage the child to brush for the dentist recommended brushing time. It should motivate even brushing of the teeth if shown how to brush properly. This then leads me on to what is perhaps the biggest catch with the Burst Kids. It doesn't engage and educate like some of the other brushes. Myself and my son are inevitably motivated by different things. And whilst the bold color of the Burst handle is appealing, he certainly didn't find it as desirable as the Disney themed Oral B brush or Sparkly, the Sonic Air character. The retail box and unboxing experience Burst offers is the best I have seen but the lack of apps or gamification to the brushing doesn't work so well with younger brushes. I try to avoid using a smartphone in the bathroom if I can, but the apps like those from Oral-B, Colgate and Sonicare all do their bit to make brushing more fun. They make it engaging and pass on educational messages which are not present in the same way with Burst. I believe it's the slightly older, more independent children who will benefit from this brush. They still want a bold, easy to use brush with a small head, but are not quite ready for an adult toothbrush. Those aged six years and older, I think are ideally suited. Lastly then, there is the price. Burst Kids is at the higher end of the price scale. It's comparable to the Sonicare for Kids that comes with the smartphone app. Going in Burst's favor is the subscription system that delivers fresh brush heads to your door every three months. With this comes a lifetime warranty. These are two things not widely offered with other kids' brushes. But Hum Kids and Oral-B brushes are cheaper and will deliver in ways that Burst can't. You will need to make a judgment call based on your child, but as good as Burst is, my preference is the Sonicare Kids Connected brush. For a more detailed written review or to buy Burst or the Sonicare Kids, click the links in the description.